This is MRN Out Loud, brought to you by Hercules Tires. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of MRN Out Loud. Headed to New England, New Hampshire Motor Speedway, the Magic Mile for this weekend's racing. Austin Hill will join us as the Camping World Truck Series now is off until Watkins Glen, but he won the dirt race at Knoxville. A little bit later on, William Byron will be here to preview those races on the cup side coming up at New Hampshire Motor Speedway this weekend. It's all ahead on MRN Out Loud. Stay with us. Citywide to countryside, whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules has the value, selection, and industry-leading warranty to get you there no matter where the road takes you. Go to HerculesTires.com. There you can find the nearest authorized Hercules retail location to you. Plus, you can use the tire tracker to find out which Hercules tire fits your vehicle the best. That's HerculesTires.com. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Austin Hill joins us now. He drives the number 16 Toyota Tundras for Hattori Racing Enterprises. And I know this is going to make him smile. The winner on Knoxville at dirt. Austin, you always said I'm not a dirt guy. And here you go and you win one. Or should I say you survived it? <laughs> yeah, uh, first and foremost, thanks for having me on. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was it was a wild race. It was one of those things that you definitely had to be there at the end to, to win it. And um you know, we stayed out of all the mess, all the melee, everything that happened. Um, but we also had a really fast Toyota Tundra. Um, you know, we worked our way methodically throughout the race back up into the top 10 and then into the top five. And then uh, when it came down to the end, we were right there battling for the win. So, um, you know, everything just kind of worked out our way. Um, you know, it, it's hard to win these uh, NASCAR truck races as it is, but um, especially at a place on dirt that, uh, if you would have told me that, that I was going to win on a, on a dirt track, I would have told you you were crazy. So, uh, to, to, you know, get my first win of the season on dirt, um, you know, I'm still, still trying to process it all and just trying to, you know, it, it's kind of surreal that, that we won on dirt. So, uh, it's pretty crazy. Now, did you grab a little handful of dirt to take with you when you left? Uh, there was plenty of dirt on the truck, uh, <laughs> after the race. So, uh, we actually got, a big chunk and it's on sitting on the back of uh of the truck that uh, on the trophy that we won so uh, it's sitting on the back of that that truck that was built so uh it, it looks pretty cool that's awesome what's uh what's the most challenging part from a fish out of water perspective of an asphalt guy trying to get the hang of dirt what what takes you the longest to get the hang of doing that uh, i think the biggest thing is you know, you, you kind of approach each the corners differently and you, you look for moisture and all those things. And I think the biggest thing that helped me throughout the race is early in the race, it seemed like that outside lane was kind of where you wanted to be. Uh, and I really couldn't figure it out much. I mean, we ran inside the top 10 or so uh, whenever it was up top. But then whenever it migrated to the bottom, that's kind of where um, I started figuring things out. Um, it seemed like you almost wanted to run it kind of like an asphalt track almost you wanted to enter very straight and you didn't really want to you know pitch it out too much and, and get it on the right rear too hard um you know and, and then when you put throttle down you wanted to keep the truck nice and straight up off the corner you didn't really want to have it hung out and spinning tires um so i think it kind of just kind of worked into my advantage at the end of the race it kind of turned into a a racetrack where tire wear was big um after stage two i had pretty much uh, balled the um, right rear tire so um, you know after stage two going into stage three me and Scott we kind of we talked a little bit we we kind of had a game plan going into stage three that we didn't want to push too hard um, but we didn't want to give up you know any position either so we pushed just hard enough and with about 20 to go he's like all right give me all you got uh, and we had we had a little more tire than everybody else did with that right rear tire, I felt like. And that's kind of one of the things that kind of propelled us and got us up to the front. Um, and then also using that berm on the inside lane, we I kind of used that to my advantage. I, those things I was doing uh, with the inside berm that that really seemed to help me. So it just kind of all fell into play. And um, it, it was something that I'm going to definitely cherish for a long time. You mentioned Scott Zipidelli, your crew chief. I know you and he both kind of breathe the sigh of relief now to get that win under your belt here as we look toward playoff time. Even though you have a break before we get to the regular season finale, what kinds of things does that do for you mentally to allow you to prepare? You don't have many races left to prepare, but you've been through this before. What does that mean for you? 
Yeah, I think the biggest thing, it just gives everybody at HRE and the whole organization a, a ton of confidence going forward. Um, you know, and, and with us having these three weeks off, with, with a team like us that, that could use the weeks off to kind of get back ahead of things, uh, I'm not going to say that we were behind by any means, but uh, it just it kind of gives my guys a little bit of time to relax a little bit, uh, maybe look at some stuff that we might, um, you know, think we could be better at in some certain areas. So I think for, for HRE and, and our organization in particular, I think that these three weeks off actually helps us a lot. Um, my guys have put in a ton of hours, um, you know, preparing for these these last couple races. And I think it just kind of lets everybody reset, kind of relax, uh, gives us, like I said, these three weeks to kind of prepare for this, you know, playoff stint that we're going to have coming up. And um, I think it just kind of gives us that win, gives us a ton of confidence going forward. You know, when, when you're not winning races and uh, you're running decent and you're, you don't feel like you're running the best that you should be running, um, you know, it kind of takes a toll on you a little bit. You start second guessing things, you start trying different setups, you start doing all these different things. And me and Scott actually talked um, for about two to two and a half hours uh, before going to Knoxville. And when we left that meeting, we kind of ended on the, uh, the meeting saying, look, let's just kind of relax, let's reset and let's go do what we do best. And that's run up front and contend for wins. And we went out there with a, with a mindset that we didn't really, you know, care too much. And it was just kind of, you know, go out there, do your thing. And if, if the wind comes great, if it don't, it just wasn't meant to be. And, and, you know, we kind of had that, that attitude going into it. And um, throughout the race, um, you know, we just never gave up. And that's one thing that this team does is we just don't give up each and every week. And even when we think we're down and out, we just, we keep digging deeper until the end. So that was kind of one of the, the things that, happened throughout that race as we persevered. And even when we thought we were down and out, we just kept digging. You mentioned three weeks off and your team has a little opportunity to relax now. How about you? What are you going to do to blow off some steam and get away from it all? Or are you one of these guys who's going to go look for a race every other day? Nah, so, um, you know, I'll still be in the gym working out at Toyota. Um, I'm going to actually be going to the uh, Toyota Sim tomorrow, do some Sim stuff to get ready for Watkins Glen and, and maybe do a little bit of gateway stuff. So, um, you know, I'm still going to be doing all those things. Um, also going to take a, a week long, uh, vacation here in about a week with the family, uh, with the wife and two kids. So, uh, that'll be good to just kind of go down to Myrtle beach, Myrtle's inlet area, and just kind of relax a little bit and spend some time with the family and, um, you know, just kind of reset and get ready for the playoffs. Cause once the playoffs starts, it's going to be each and every day and each and every week, you're just trying to do everything you can to, be that much better, um, you know, in the race car and, and just trying to find that little edge over your competitors. So uh, when the playoffs start, it's going to be all all game time then. So um, it, it'll be good to have these couple weeks off to just kind of relax a little. Yeah, enjoy it while you can get it for sure. August 7th is Watkins Glen. You mentioned a moment ago. It's going to be cool to see the trucks there, but I understand you're going to do double duty, right? Yeah, so we're going to run the, the ARCA race the day before, which is going to be good for us because – um, you know, the truck race is not going to have any practice. You just line up and race them. So, um, you know, being able to go out and, and have practice and then also run that ARCA race the day before you kind of get to see, you know, how the track, how the track is and how it, how it starts from the start of the race to the end of the race. And then, um, you know, just kind of getting back ready, uh, for the road course style races. Um, you know, we've been, we've been really good on these road courses. We've been really close and, um, I think we're just missing a few little small details to put us in victory lane on the road courses. So uh, I'm excited to go there. Watkins Glen is probably one of my favorite road course races that we that we go to. So um, to be able to bring the trucks back there and, um, you know, be able to kind of get get the trucks back into Watkins Glen. Hopefully this is something that we get to see down the road um, and we're running at Watkins Glen a lot more than just the just this season. So. Um, I'm excited for it. Like I said, it's probably one of my favorite road course races. So I really want to go win there. Now the playoffs open after that, that's the regular season finale with gateway Darlington and Bristol gateway. We haven't been to yet this year, obviously Darlington, you finished 13th and Bristol was dirt the last time you were there. So that's not really a good comparison. What do you think about that opening round? Yeah. Uh, gateway, we ran really good there last year. Um, you know, we, we dug deep and, and we really fought hard on, on setup there. 
Um, you know, the year prior, we we struggled there. We It was hard to even run inside the top 10. So uh, last year we ended up running third and we thought that we had a truck that could have possibly won if, if certain uh, re if we had certain restarts and certain things happen, we thought we were good enough to possibly win. So I'm excited about going to Gateway, um, seeing the success we had last year. Uh, Darlington, I feel like uh, we kind of had one kind of slip away from us at Darlington just because I, I know that the four truck was was leading the race and doing all those things. And, and he was he was hard to beat uh, that day. But I really thought that we had the truck to beat on a long run. So if we could have could ever got single filed out and me and him race it out. I thought that we had the better truck on the long run. So I'm really excited to go back there. Um, you know, I think we have a really good package there, you know, maybe work on a few little minor details, maybe be a little bit better on the short run, but I'm really excited about going there. And then Bristol, Bristol is one of those racetracks that I feel like as a driver, I don't know if I just haven't, haven't had, you know, just the, the right setup or right, you know, I'm just not liking what we got going on right now, but um, I don't, I think, I, I think I struggle a little bit as a driver there at Bristol for whatever reason. Um, so Bristol is going to be one of those races that I really got to dig deep and I really got to get in the sim and, and just figure it out. I, I, you know, we, we ran there last year and, and, and I thought that, thought that I kind of had it figured out. I thought that, you know, we were going to be okay. And then start of the race, we get damage and, um, you know, then we run, run in the back the rest of the day. So we didn't really get to see how good we were last year at Bristol. So I'm excited to go there, um, this time around and see if we can kind of put something together and, and have a solid finish there. All right. Well, Austin, congratulations on the big win at Knoxville fifth in the playoff standings now with one race to go in the regular season. Congratulations and enjoy that time off. I know everybody's going to be looking forward to a little breather right now. Yeah, it's, it's going to be nice to have this little breather. Thanks for having me on. And, uh, Hopefully at Watkins Land, we can be talking to you again soon with another win. There you go. That's Austin Hill. Sir, are you aware you were going 40 miles an hour? This is a residential area. Sure, but I'm on my lawnmower. Wait, am I getting a ticket? No, I've just never seen anyone top nine miles an hour on one of those bad boys. And mow their entire lawn in 30 seconds? What got into you? Well, it did fuel up at Sunoco this morning. At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. We've been doing it for American Racing for over 50 years. Fuel your best. New Hampshire Motor Speedway, very flat, very tough. A lot of guys say to get a hold of. You were 11th there last year. What do you think about that track? Is it as hard to get a hold of as people say? Yeah, New Hampshire is really difficult. I, I feel like it's a, it's a track historically that you know, the, the veteran guys and the really good teams do well, well on it's, it's just a tough racetrack. So we've got to have a lot of grip in our race car. And um, it's honestly one of the tracks that Rudy and I have done the best at in the past with the truck series. So we've got some testing notes there. We know it works well. We know what, what the car needs to do. So I'm, I'm honestly pretty excited about New Hampshire. Um, definitely one of those tracks that Rudy and I are looking forward to getting to. Citywide to countryside, whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules has the value, selection, and industry-leading warranty to get you there no matter where the road takes you. Go to HerculesTires.com. There you can find the nearest authorized Hercules retail location to you. Plus, you can use the tire tracker to find out which Hercules tire fits your vehicle the best. That's HerculesTires.com. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Well, that's all the time we've got on this week's edition of MRN Out Loud. We want to thank Austin Hill, the winner at Knoxville, for joining us, and William Byron as well for helping us preview the races coming up at Loudon this weekend. We'll see you right back here next week for another edition of MRN Out Loud. <laughs> <laughs>